Little Miss Explorer by Roger Hargreaves Little Miss Explorer had travelled the world, right from the very top all the way down to the very bottom. She had explored deserts, she had explored the jungles, and she had explored the oceans. There was nothing that daunted Little Miss Explorer. She had seen it all. She had photographed the Yeti high in the Himalayas. She had drunk tea with the lions on the Serengeti plains. And she had even swum with the Loch Ness Monster. There was nothing that scared Little Miss Explorer. And there was no discomfort she could not endure. Little Miss Explorer thrived off hardship. She would happily sleep outside, whatever the weather. It never occurred to her that she might freeze. She would gladly eat the most revolting of stews, whatever the ingredients. It never occurred to her that she might get ill. And she would cheerfully wade through a swamp. It never occurred to her that she might be eaten by a crocodile. Nothing concerned Little Miss Explorer, because it had never crossed her mind that anything might go wrong. That was until last week. Last week, when she went exploring with Mr Worry. Now, Mr Worry could not help but worry. He worried a lot. He worried about the weather. He worried about not getting enough sleep. He worried about getting too much sleep. And it will come as no surprise that he was especially worried about his trip with Little Miss Explorer. They were to start their trip in a canoe exploring a river. Mr Worry looked at the canoe. I don't think this is a good idea, said Mr Worry. It'll be fine, said Little Miss Explorer, without a worry. But we might capsize or get a leak or lose a paddle, worried Mr Worry. Little Miss Explorer had not thought of any of these things. But now she did think about them. She thought about them a lot. And the more she thought about them, the more worried she became. Her mind was suddenly filled with doubt. So they did not explore the river. The next day, they were going to explore a mountain. I don't think this is a good idea, said Mr Worry. It'll be fine, said Little Miss Explorer. But the rope might snap, or we might be caught in an avalanche, or we might slip on the ice, worried Mr Worry. And once again, Little Miss Explorer was filled with doubt, and they did not explore the mountain. They had planned to explore the reef, but we might run out of air, or we might be eaten by a shark, or we might be stung by a stingray, worried Mr Worry. They did not explore the reef. And so it went on all week. They did not explore the volcano. And they did not explore the caves. There were, as Mr Worry vigorously pointed out, far too many things to go wrong. Poor little Miss Explorer had not explored anything for a whole week. And she was bored. So she decided to go to the beach and read a book. And while she read her book, she thought about all the great adventures she had enjoyed and how everything had always turned out just fine. Little Miss Explorer's book had given her the perfect idea for her next adventure. But this time, Mr Worry wasn't coming with her. <laughs>